Hi guys, so today I have a get ready with me and I'm doing this look. Uh, this is my take on a Valentine's Day uh, makeup tutorial, you know, kind of a lot of pinks and you know kind of burgundies and um, and glitter because why not <laughs> uh, so yeah um, let's get started okay guys so I have already uh, moisturized my face let's get started with the primer I'm going to take my Smashbox photo finish primer razor I'll take about two pumps this is a very runny primer but the few times that I have tried it, um, it uh, helps my makeup stick uh, better, you know, uh, and in turn it actually prolongs the wear of my, of my foundation, as in my base. So let's get that worked into the skin. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade light beige it looks like this this is one of my favorite favorite foundations ever it has great coverage but it's not super um, mattifying um, and in, in turn it doesn't make my skin dry you know especially if I uh, moisturize my face properly and prime it beforehand it just works perfectly plus like I said it's full coverage so I'm taking my Eco Tools sponge, dabbing that in, and just working it into my skin. I'm thinking of doing um, more of, say, a pink um, makeup as an eye eye look, so that it could work for Valentine's Day as well. Maybe, maybe it'll be the look that I'm gonna wear as well. I have a little mirror here so that I'm able to see what I'm doing. Cause behind the camera there is like a huge mirror, but I don't have a proper stand yet. So unfortunately there is like a stack of boxes. <laughs> um, so I can't see behind the camera, you know? And I think this, shade actually works for me as well the shade range in general is very limited I think there are only four shades uh, so unfortunately not everyone will be able to find their shade so um, I know what they're doing they need to bring up a lot more plus the foundation is really really good so you know I can imagine people loving it but if so many skin tones can't even try it, then, you know, it's a pity, Catrice, you're missing out on the market. And of course, let's not forget the chin. <laughs> Next up, I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age, the, uh, the Eraser Eye Concealer. I am just going to put it, I'm not going to do the triangle thing with this concealer. This is, um, because it just wouldn't work because this has such a pink tone to it it's great to eliminate you know your bags so that's what I'm doing and then I'm going I'm going to go with another concealer which is the bourgeois uh, radiance reveal concealer looks like this this is great this is another very moisturizing uh, concealer uh, which is you know perfect for my dry skin this is what I'm doing and the combination of you know the Maybelline concealer and any other skin tone concealer works great okay so I'm just going to take the other side of the beauty sponge and work this in for spot concealing I'm going to take my wet n wild photo focus concealer and I'm just going to place it on this huge spot <laughs> that I've been trying to get rid of for I don't know like a week now and it just won't it's you know it's one of those that are underneath the skin and it just uh, you know just struggles <laughs> okay 
while that is on my face, I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with the Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder. Just like this. Just going to take a little bit on my sponge. Oh, I have some cursing. I have, you know, I have lines under my eyes, so every concealer creases under there. So that's normal. And just pat this in. And I'm just going to get rid of the creases on this side as well. Dip it into the powder and in we go. Probably the face that I'm making right now is hilarious. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush actually, this is from Penny's. It was it's a double-ended brush. I think it's made for contouring. And I'm just going to pat the other concealer, the Wet n' Wild concealer, into my skin. This way, if I'm not using the beauty sponge, you know, and just patting it in with the brush, I'm getting the maximum coverage that I could get. Okay, and here as well. Lovely going to take my sponge and pat in the lines on my forehead and I'm going to dip my sponge back into the powder and I'm going to bake this area so that the foundation doesn't sit into my uh, lines as much and the same with my with my smile lines because they're very deep. I guess I'm such an expressive person. Oh, wait, not this way. Okay, so what I do is I blow out my cheeks and then I um, put in the powder on. Okay. And I leave this to bake while I do my eyebrows, for example. Oh, okay. And for my eyebrows, I'm taking the Essence Super Last Eyebrow Pomade Pencil Waterproof. This, I think this is my new favorite eyebrow product because it's the perfect color and it's super easy to apply. So I'm just brushing through my eyebrows first. Taking this little baby. Okay, I need to put this a little bit closer because I won't be able to see. My eyebrows aren't symmetrical, unfortunately, so I just map out the front so that they are more or less on the same level, you know, and then I fill in my eyebrows. I'm probably going to skip through this because this takes ages. And I have to get really close to the mirror to see anything. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Um, I think my boyfriend, Martin, is planning something. I'm not sure what. Because he won't say. Uh, maybe some food. That would be nice. Like a restaurant or something, you know. But we shall see if we, you know, stayed home and watched Netflix, that'll be, you know, totally fine with me as well. Uh, because next month we are having our five year anniversary. Ooh. Yeah, crazy. Five years have gone so fast. But um it's great to see how we've grown you know one as a couple and secondly you know as individuals I'm brushing through my eyebrows so that they look they don't so that they won't jesus look uh clumpy okay and then i'm going to take my pixie by petra brow tamer um eyebrow gel and I'm going to set them in place 
Okay, I guess we can uh, start the eyes. Um, like I said, I want something pink and there's this pigment that I want to use. It is the Ken Boyle and Makeup Play pigment in uh, 211 What's Up. Oh. Let me show. It looks like that. It's a kind of rose gold. Um, it's a, a rose gold pigment um, which I think looks beautiful on the eyes so yeah let's let's start with that so I'm taking my Huda Beauty Desert Disc palette and I'm going to take no actually I'm lying I changed my mind I'm going to take the Kylie bronze palette and I'm going to take this no start again Okay, so first I'm going to take my Essence Isle of Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Looks like this. I'm going to put some on my eye and blend it out. Make it off this first. Because it looks funny. Okay, I'm going to take my finger to blend it out. Right, so. And now I'm going in with the Kylie Bronze Palette. I'm taking this shade and I'm going to set this eyeshadow primer so that you know our eyeshadow doesn't crease and so that you know it has a good base to uh, to stay on. For our first crease color, I am going to Where's the brush? Here we go. Just going to wipe it off. I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And I'm going to take the shade Eden. It's this one. Tap off the excess and I'm going to put this as a transition shade. Transition shades are um, great because they kind of um, lay out a base. For, you know, like, the next shadow cannot go above this shade, you know. And intensify the other eye as well. I want this color to peek through after we put all the other colors. So, uh, we will see how that goes. Next up, I'm going in with the shade. Um, oh, how should I hold it? Like this. Uh, saffron it is this shade and I'm going to put it below that transition shade and you know kind of more into my actual crease and, you know back and forth and circular motions so that both of the Eden shade and the saffron shade mix well together such a pretty shade. I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used a shade on my eyes yet. I'm kind of, I used this palette for my Halloween uh, makeup, which was inspired by um, a Katie, uh, Luster Lux, basically. Uh, she did, I think, she did uh, a purple skull makeup for Halloween and I was super inspired that I just really wanted to, um, you know, replicate it. I took that picture without realizing that I didn't put mascara on, so it kind of looks funny, but you know, it doesn't matter. And now I want to go in with this Oud shade. Let me clean it up as well. So I am taking this oud shade here on this angle brush. And then tap off the excess and I'm going to put this at the outer corner just to deepen up that look. And I'm kind of bring it in here a little bit so it creates a very, very soft cut crease. Like very soft. Should I put more? <gasps> what happened to this? What happened 
listening to this? <laughs> this shade, this oud shade got into it. <gasps> okay, uh, enough, enough. I'm going to put this shade on the other. Oh, shoot. One more, okay. I'm going to try to blend it out. Okay, I need to put a little bit more on this side. Tap it off and blend it in. That should be on the t shirt, right? Tap it out, blend it in. And now, actually, before I put on this uh, pigment, I'm going to take this Catrice Li Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Eyeshadow. It is a very pretty rose gold color. Oh, I don't need to get. Oh, oh, Jesus. Let me place that as a base. Kind of mapping out. And before it dries out, I'm going to place this pigment on my finger and just go over it making it super 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 metallic just let it live and then i'm going to take this blending brush with nothing on it and blend out the edges i think i will need to go in with a little bit of that oud color but i can do that at the end and doing the same thing on the other eye on this eye i'm going to take a little bit of that oh, of that oud color uh, it's this one here anyway um tap it out on this eye and just place it on the outer corner and blend it in oh i don't think that's gonna work very well but Oh well, I have to deal with it. Okay, and just a little bit on the other edge, just to blend out that edge. Oh, oh I almost dropped it. Okay, and since we have our concealer done, I think I will do my bottom lash line as well. So, I will take a fluffy brush like this and i'm going to go into the first shade that we use on top eden and lay this fairly generously on the bottom lash line this is again going to be like a transition shade for the other colors to blend easier we are more or less going to mimic the same thing we did with the mattes um you know on on the top eyelid then next i'm going to take a teeny teeny tiny little fluffy brush and i'm going to go into the shade saffron this one right here and i'm going to oh <laughs> going to blend it in on my bottom lash line Oh shoot, wrong color. Um, here we go. That's the pigmentation I wanted. What do you think? <laughs> and then I'm going to take this brush again. This is the angled brush and I'm going to go into the oud shade right here. And I'm going to place it at the on the outer corner of my bottom lash line and kind of you know connecting that color to the top so that it creates you know there isn't a distinct difference between top and bottom where those shadows connect i'm thinking what you think does this a shadow look need a wing liner uh, i don't know i don't want to f it up by putting in um, my uh, wing liner no Actually, I'm not gonna put a wing liner. Okay, time for some mascara. For mascara, I think 
I did a lash perm where your eyelashes are curled and that effect lasts for, you know, I don't know, a few weeks. Um, and I can see that my eyelashes are going back to normal, but they're still kind of curled. So unfortunately, I kind of pack on that much mascara because it just will, you know, go like, it will touch my eyelids. That's not what I want to go for. And actually, before even I do that, I'm going to go with Catrice. No, it's not Catrice. It's Essence Gel Waterproof Eyeliner in black. The writing is all, you know, rubbed off. And I'm going to place it on my uh, upper waterline. And for my bottom waterline, I'm going to go with the Nika K 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeliner in brown. And now for my mascara, I'm going to go in with the Model Co Mega Lash High Definition Mascara. I got this in one of my birch boxes, actually. The one looks like this. It's a fairly, you know, volumizing mascara, which are one of my favorites. And for my bottom lashes, what I'm actually doing is I'm flipping the brush, you know, vertically. And I'm just dragging it along my bottom lashes. So this way they don't get too long. But the the mascara is, you know, the mascara is still on the lashes. And then what I like to do is take this little tool and just brush through my eyelashes. Okay. And for the last thing is I'm going to take the Huda Beauty 3D Highlight Palette in Pink Sands and I'm going to take the color Santorini, which is this one, on a little fluffy brush and I'm going to put this as my brow bone highlight. So what I've done is I put that Santorini shade on my brow bone and in my inner corner as an inner corner highlight. So next up I'm taking the So So Complete Contour Palette, looks like this, and I'm going to take the shade 5 as my bronzer, sorry, shade 6 actually. So I'm just going to bronze up the face. This is such a great bronzer. I wish she would have came out with this bronzer as you know as a separate as a separate compact or something because this palette costs 29.95 euro and you know i'm not just going to buy it for this bronzer because <laughs> i think like in all fairness the um, bronzer is the best thing in this in this palette i don't really use the shade 3 the banana shade or the concealers because I just don't <laughs> but this bronzer needs to be in a separate compact don't think I'm going to contour as much I just love how bronzing my face up with this bronzer and we're just put, gonna put a little bit I mean a lot <laughs> on my double chin just to you know make it a little less visible and then for my blush, I'm going to take the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade 100 Indian Summer. I'm going to take my Spectrum Angled Brush, load it up, tap with the excess, and, and just brush it on. This is such a lovely uh, mauve color, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I don't really like. Um, you know kind of blushes with shimmer or something but for this one I can forgive it because it's such a pretty color and then the best thing and my favorite part is highlight so I'm going to take the Sosu highlighter kit looks like this and I'm going to take the shade Unicorn dust, maybe mix it in with a little bit of moon sparkle, and in we go. Mm. This highlighter kit is super lovely. You get six shades um, that you know you can use these 
you can use these top these two for bronzer this one for um, blush and the rest of you know for highlights and it's really versatile uh, palette I think I did a review on my blog I link the I'll link the blog post uh, in the description box so you can have a read if you want. Let's not forget the nose. The Cupid's bow. And a teeny, teeny bit on my chin. I have a little bit of acne going on there, so I don't want to emphasize anything, but you know, I can't resist. <laughs> and then for the last thing, actually, is lips. Uh, okay, so for lips, I've decided to go, uh, you know, towards the pinky peachy side. So I'm taking the, Lord, the Lord and Berry Blush Crayon. I know it's a blush crayon, but I don't like cream blushes in general. So I just, I got this in a birch box and I decided that I would lose it for my lips. Because, why not? <laughs> Rules are for breaking people, especially in makeup. And then to top that off, uh, I'm going to take the Bourjois Rouge Velvet the Lipstick in the shade 02 Flaming Rose. And what do you think? It's a lovely color, the, the lipstick and the blush crayon. I wore it in one of my videos, which I haven't posted, uh, but I really like the combo on that. Uh, so yeah, and then to finish things off, I'm going to take my Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus and just spritz my face. And that is it. This is my take on a Valentine's makeup look, you know, kind of uh, sultry, pinky. Um, I think this is what I'm going to wear for the Valentine's Day. So yeah, don't forget to like this video if you if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel as well. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.